Okay, I have no idea how this is gonna go, but uh, this is gonna be a little breakdown video of my virtual insanity cover, as you can see right here. Uh, I believe this is gonna be for members only, unless I change my last not, unless I change my mind last second. So hi members. Also, I'm not gonna edit this because one, I'm too lazy. Two, it's just better if you see the whole thing. Just like if you want to sit, if you don't want to sit through me talking about music for like I don't know how long. Uh, that's fine. I don't expect you to, but it's okay. But uh, anyway, uh, one thing also, this is inspired by Rare's cover a lot, as you guys can tell if you've listened to the original one yet. And also, you see all this panning. I want you to ignore it. I'm gonna fuck with these a lot. Or, uh, I'm gonna fuck with these a lot throughout the recording because I just had a sensitive left ear. So it, uh, it just, just, uh, just, just to help me, you know, be happy because it's really annoying when a panning is fucked up. But yeah, let's get started. We got first of all. Uh, Labs Piano. Labs is autograph brand. It's completely free. I just put the tightness all the way up. Reverb is at 0%. I added it reverb through effect. Got some EQ, Maximus. Just like, you know, just some regular Maximus. So I keep everything in check. And then, uh, we also have some reverb. You know, what level and such. Just so, you know, feel free to pause and copy this if you want to. And then delay 3. Because of this tempo increase right here, because delay two gets cut off if a tempo changes, and so I had to put delay three because that doesn't get cut off by the tempo. Also, if you're background noise, I'm really sorry, but yeah. And then we just got regular virtual and sandy chords, just straight up copper fractures. Up, I'll be, I'll be real. I didn't mean to delete that now, but yeah, I did do a little bit of a melody here. Yeah, and then, yeah, it just sounds like at 90 BPM. This bass thing is really important for uh, transition purposes and such. I don't know how loud my mouse is, by the way. I'm sorry if it's really loud. Another after that, uh, we go, we do just this piano alone, and then we go to a little sort of build up part in which we have some shakers. Well, it's just literally just regular labs percussion. Just like, you know, with the panning of it mess, mess with. Uh, yeah, I, I, I use labs a lot throughout this, if you couldn't tell. There's like five instances of labs. Let me see if there's any more. Uh, no, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, all of these, I'm going to get to those. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's just a little shaker. Just following that pattern, just like a very simple rhythm. And then along with that, we have some Labs Choir this time. Uh, Micah's for War Warp Fracture. I use this a lot. This uh, this thing dates back to my finale for the Bowling One Epic Fight. I've just been using this forever because it's a good thing. It's a good uh sound to sort of filling the fill in the blanks with your music. Just say like, it sounds more full. It doesn't seem empty as hell, and it just like gives emotion better. Especially in minor chords. Yeah, if I can... Yeah. It's like, a, you know, very simple choir. It sounded, it's, it's, it's almost synthy in a way. But yeah, just like a little pad, I guess. Just following the regular virtual insanity chords, nothing too insane. And then there's this pick bass following the bass notes of the chord progression. Oh, one thing I should add about the chord progression is that uh, instead of that rhythm transition on the first one, uh, it changes to a regular uh, full stop at the end because of this riser, and then there's just like a bunch of effect stuff going on, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, pick bass, just... It's sort of following like the sans bass pattern, sans dot bass pattern. Very... Very simple, goofy bass pattern. And then we get to the build-up. Which is all together by the way, so it's just like we got the piano chords right there. And then you see you're gonna see how important it is. Boom, boom, boom. And see it's a perfect transition to this. <laughs> you're not getting there. You're not you're not getting that yet. I'm gonna edge you. Oh also the chord progression just like ends with a solid just like so or simplify it because there's a little reverb transition right here, which is 
just an effector I have on the master. Uh, just a max reverb. Uh, yeah, so that's what it sounds like. And then we also have a reverse sound effect, which is like... I also use my core cover. Oh, there's a bit of reverb loss over. The automation clip slowly increasing as the thing goes. And then... Yeah, we got that thing. Also, one thing, uh, it's gonna lag a lot because uh, this FLP was... If, uh, blah, blah, this FLP is pretty heavy, at least on my PC. So I have the audio file here, just in case. Just in case. And, but yeah, uh, we... If I switch back to the arrangement, I don't know why that arrangement is there. I did a lot of arrangement stuff because everything kept overlapping. So we just have... Here we have a lot of stuff to unpack. There's obviously the regular virtual insanity chords at double time because the BPM is 215 now. Still easier. Yeah, you can just find this in Fracture Stuff LP. And then, uh, afterwards, we have a little... That was loud! Oh my god, that was really loud! Yeah, just a little, little, little impact thing. If you hear background noise, by the way, I'm really sorry. Uh, uh, just a, just a little impact thing. Just to, you know, add a bit of more transition effect, and then there's a little, you know, more loud square, just the same thing. I don't know why I made a different pattern. It's like, oh no, I, did, I do, because of double time, I'm an idiot. And then, this is where, this is where a lot of people get confused, for, confused. myself included, I looked up a tutorial for this. So we have Shreddage 3 Hydra, can I? I don't know why it sounds like, but when I play with my mouth, just like... Can I play four, please? There you go. So, you yeah, might be confused. How'd you do that little wow wow effect on the guitar? Because if I do take off these, that's how it normally sounds. So, what I did is I had a filter right here, cut off frequency, right click, link to controller, and then I linked it the formula controller out because I also added this thing called Fruity Formula Controller. You won't find this in the regular plugins since you had to go on more plugins to type in the Fruity Formula Controller. And after that, I clicked on compile. Oh god, is my FLP gonna freeze? Oh no, it's frozen. Why is it frozen? Stop. No, don't do this to me. Please, no, don't do this to me. Wait, 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 wait. No. <laughs> okay, it's back. Oh uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I just clicked compile, I believe. And no, I clicked on presets and then basic sign LFO, and then I clicked on compile. And I just fuck with these values. It says what's what here. And then, because of that, we were able to get... You see how the frequency is moving? It's basically just a filter, just a... That's what, that's what the filter does. And then, after that, we also just have a uh, bass. Which, as you, guys, as you guys can see, there's uh, ghost notes on top of the space. You might be wondering why, and also, let me just do this really quickly. There you go. So I get back to my regular Apple Studio form. Uh, so we got just a very simple bass line. So you guys might be wondering, wait, what is this, this sound? Because this isn't pick bass. It doesn't sound like pick bass. So I decided to do overlays on basses, which is the by just getting uh what's it called the funk bass from the contact factory selection. You might be like, oh my god, who uses factory selection? Uh, I read a I read a uh, Letter Rain Medium article <laughs> about Celeste music, and I'm like, oh wait, what she uses? She uses contact factory library, and she says useful. Sure, I guess I'll give it a try, and I got this bass off from it. Uh, I can't play it again. <laughs> A very good bass, just like you know, add just some um, overdrive, enhancer, sound glider, and EQ. You know, very, very, very solid stuff. And then, so I wanted to do a little slap effect as well, but I obviously couldn't do that with the pick bass, so I just did it with the slap bass or the funk bass instead. Yeah, and then finally, we have drums, which is yet again. This took a, a while to mix properly, but it's all just factory, factory, uh, contact factory library. It's the pop kit from there. 
I really like that. It's a really good drum kit, honestly. Oh god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> what did I just do? And then just like, we just have a very similar pattern. It's like... One thing about me is that I mix all of my drums separately. So like, you'll see the hats here and then the kick and snares. Kick, kick, snare. Uh, our crashes and toms. Yeah, I mix everything separately. Which I think just like makes better for, what's it called? Like, better mixed drums because if you do a kick mixing on something, the snares are gonna sound bad, so I just mix everything individually. Got like the... Uh... Not a, is this a snare room? I think it is. It could It's either a snare room or like a fucking, you know, stick sitting together. Uh, yeah. And then we have this also a little transition. So, all together, I'll just play it off the thing, honestly. Arrangement 3. No. Why? Stop. My thing is very glitchy, but like, so we just have... Very simple. I can't play the transition because of this thing right here. I want to go everything individually. I got just a little Toho trumpet, romantic trumpet. I really like Toho romantic trumpet. It's really good, I think. And it literally just has reverb. I wanted to add chorus, but then it, was, it sounded like... It sounded weird, so I just kept the reverb only. I wanted to go for the sample here because I just wanted to do a little slide. I could have executed that better, honestly, but it's fine. It still sounds good. And then also, afterwards, we move on to this part, which yet again has everything from before, along with uh, different drums now. We got just a kick overlaid. Little tom roll as well. I really like doing those th these uh, tom rolls. If I can click on it, there you go. Uh, yeah, just like following some. And then with a kick on the last one as well. And then other than that, we have the Megalovania, the funny, the Sans Undertale. Yeah, and we just 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 going uh regular Megalovania, and then a little, a little transition thing at the end. Just sort of following the chord progression. It's following the bass line more than anything. Because, like, you see how D, 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 and then D sharp again. I don't know what this is following. Wait, what did I make this follow? Wait, what? Huh? I'm confusing myself with my own music. I don't know. It still, it still works somehow, though. That's like, interesting. But yeah. After that, uh, we also have some SGM regular strings. Now, if FBI sees this, which he won't because he's not a member, uh, he'll kill me, but I use SGM strings a lot. I just did some little, like, high octave. Will this slide my computer out? Yet another reverb transition. One thing I forgot to mention, there's also this uh, regular citrus, citrus saw. On top of the audio. Oh shit, I forgot to... Yeah, I have to enable the automation so it will go back to the tempo. One thing, ladies and gentlemen, always use direct wave for OD. It just sounds so much better. Other than except to the sound font version, if you want to do a vibrato, do it by fucking hand, because it just sounds cleaner, more smooth. The fade is better. It's just it's just better at everything. And then we move on to the drop. Uh, so on the drop we have a lot of stuff. So we just have the regular Megalovania lead. We have the OD. We have oh boy, here we go. We have this thing, which is if I can find it, it's from. Mother 3, Bassoon plus Strings. I'm pretty sure I didn't pronounce that correctly, but it's fine. Other than that, we have, uh, shit, wait. We have, uh, 
the saw, I got this from the starting point of very FLP. Apparently a cynical saw. Fucking is it cynical the guy who made like all the Dream SMP megalos? Yeah, just a very simple saw. Porta and such. And other than that, we have uh also this. Wait, can I play the wait? <laughs> no. But yeah, it's a regular very shield and sandy stand from fractures up puppy. I have a synth very similar to this, but this one felt better. And that's everything at the drop. Oh, and there's also a violin detach. Let it get on the eye wave. Yeah, because I use direct wave because you can extend the zone. So normally it's limited to about here and here, but you could go. Oh, yeah. I don't know why would you want to go this high, but you can. You can use that as a percussion, honestly. But anyway. Oh, yeah, one thing I forgot about the build up. My bad. I completely forgot about this. There's also this thing Piper. Let me find it. Uh, it's from P2 Instruments, like Protease 2, I think. So yeah, uh, it's just sort of just it's just sort of just support the piano, honestly. Uh... Yeah. Uh, shit, there you go. And then other than that, on the drop, we ha still have the same guitar. It's this time, it's got um, this note, the second, or no, the third note of the chord. So because it goes first, third, and then I don't, know, I don't know, music theory and stuff. But yeah, it just goes down with the chord, and then it just sort of stays down, goes down, and goes back up. That's way better motion compared to just... Just adds way more motion. Uh, and then we still have those SGM strings going on. We have the piano and such, still Lab Squire. Uh, and then we also have Shredded Jupiter in Modern Metal 2, my main shredded, just a bit of bit of bite, uh, double tracked, and then with the, just a bit of EQ because already comes preempt, just have this like this and have this like that, just sort of imply the shredded better. With also just saying, you know, regular key switches to do the pattern. I always use uh, power chord instead of regular. Strokes. Yeah, some very, very, very cool, simple stuff. And then we also have the thing I love doing. Now, this may be a plugin most of you guys haven't heard of, but it is called Massive, Native Instrument Massive. And I made my little own sort of thing here, synth here. Might also be the default one, I'm not sure. I mean, I have the thing right here, so I'm sure, I'm sure I made it, but yeah. I really like doing ARPs. I, they're really fun to make for me. And then, yeah, while in Detach, and then we also have now more virtual from more instruments from the original Fracture FLP, uh, which is this. No, my bad. This is uh, something I use. Uh, it's from Flex. It's totally the default thing if you open Flex. Just fuck with the volume a little bit. Yeah, and I just got a bit of. Yeah, I use this a lot. Again, it's from Fractures FLP. Uh, EQ. Delay and just a bit of reverb. I did use a lot of stuff from Fractures FLP, as I previously said, I think, but it's because I usually do like using sounds from the original FLP of a song a lot. I just like doing it because number one, it's easier. Number two, it doesn't sound bad. And number three, it's just like sort of like a flashback to the original song as well. So it's more of just like going completely original. It's also just like, you know, 
yeah, it's this song, this song, you know, you guys remember this song is sort of like a reference. It's like when a game uses, like, for example, if Undertale uses the Once Upon a Time or his theme motive in a song, people are like, oh my god, yeah, that motive, and people are like, oh yeah, that instrument, when they listen to this, if they recognize it. But then, yeah, we just have the regular Megalovania lead, and then with the little counter lead on as well, if I can get to it. And then it's got the transition thing again. And then afterwards, if I do I need to cover anything else? Oh yeah, uh, disbelief sound font, I think. Yeah, it's literally just disbelief sound font. What else? Oh yeah, chords. Um, I just use SGM organ and strings, I think. Did I use strings? I don't know. But yeah, SGM organ 3 right here. I think I triple octaved it. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I triple octaved it. And then, oh yeah, I did use touch jump strings. Yeah, we got uh, those two chords. As gym strings, I've just got uh, Primarch Key, Q, and Reverb. And the organs literally just got uh, this and Reverb. I don't know why I write Reverb, but we're just dump on the together. They make a pretty smooth noise, I think. I just added the, uh, the little impact sound here again. Gotta cancel that. And then, oh yeah, drums as well. I actually learned this little, uh, ride thing, like, uh, this ride thing. From a kid in my school. I don't go to Soma, but like last year I learned it from a kid who played drums in my school. I also play drums, but he's like got more experience than me and he's like, oh yeah, you should use the ride for transitions. And then I did and I was like, oh my god, that's awesome. And so I implemented it into this song, which I think turned out pretty fucking good. But anyway, afterwards, we still have everything before from before, just uh, minus the um, chords and such and the uh, virtual insanity extra instruments to make it, you know, sound more intense. We go to the square section, which the drum I didn't stay the same. Everything basically stays the same, other than the, than the fact uh, the shredded changes. It's got way more mutes now, as you can notice. And there's also the square lead. It's the same from, it's the regular, you know, three so season, and then nasal charge. I, the first time I used this was in my final battle. A real cool synth, and then together they make this cool sound. And also, so you guys, normally Megalovania Square has a little, uh, what's it called? A little counter melody, but this didn't. So I made my own. This has, uh, very weird instruments, uh, SGM synth strings. Again, the chord lid. The disbelief sound. And then SGM pipe organ. But it just works, honestly. I didn't want to, like, really, what's it called? Make it too loud because I didn't want it to go over. I didn't want it to be too much of a counter lead, but sort of just like hint at the fact that there's a counter lead and make it more intense. Along with you know the all the regular instruments from here coming back in, except for the Megalovania sound. Actually, wait. What would happen if I were to add this here, though? It's gonna lag a lot, but whatever. Oh, I should have probably done that. Anyways, though, and then we move on to. For chance, everyone's favorite part. Um, so there's a reverb transition here. I'm gonna re remove that for to put this right here. We got the dancing, walking, rearranging furniture section, as I call it. Everything changes. The chord progression changes.
No, I don't want to. I'm not going to go over all the other instruments again because it's the same instruments. But there's the chord progression here also changes. And then, other than that, the drums also changed instead of, uh, you know, the com complicated-ish hi-hat pattern here. It's so like, that, uh, we have just a regular smooth uh, open hat and a right pattern. Other than that, the arpeggio also changes. Oh my god, it's caster! No, okay. It's just a regular three-note arpeggio. And then along with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to this in a second. The shredder also the shredder uh pattern chord shredder progressive changes. The bass in it again is basically the same, as you can see, but then you know this. It's just the same. Uh, and then after that, we get to... The future is made of virtual insanity. Obviously, there's a little effect reverse transition again. We got the impact clap. And then we got... We got the vocals now. Let me... Where's the tempo automation? It's the third track. I should remember that. We got... It's a bit... Of, we got a bit of stuff to unpack. Uh... Oh, the fucking thing is gone. Wait, I put a thing here. Oh, never mind then. Well, anyways, we got. Futures made of virtual insanity now always seem to be governed by this love we have for useless twisting of our new technology. Oh, now there is no sound, for we all live underground. Future. It sounds a bit weird. You can hear the virtual insanity melody here play as well but uh oh shit i gotta sneeze hang on please can i sneeze please it's it's right it's edging me the sneeze is edging me okay well fuck you too then i guess uh it's gone <laughs> yeah because the way i this was done is i sent this uh, i sent them um, a very simplified version let me see if it's still in the pattern actually is it is it still in the pattern what is this Oh, this is me trying to- oh, ooh, this is my attempt to fucking, uh, what's it called? Harmonize. This part is the only reason I couldn't- I couldn't do it, because it just sounded bad. Let's see if I can find a simplified version of the melody. Was this, but like without the thing, uh, without the slide. Uh, so that's thirty-eight. What is this? No, that's a counter melody. Uh, okay, maybe I, I probably deleted it. Yeah. Okay, I gotta get to that in a second. Uh, but yeah, we also have this. Futures made of virtual insanity now always seem to be governed by this love we have for useless twisting. Of our new technology, oh, now there is no sound, for we all live underground. Yeah, there's a uh, synth from before, there's again nasal. Fuck, oh, can I please? Okay, there's nasal charge. I, my scrolling is a bit bugged, by the way. We got nasal charge, buzzy from the Mother 3 sound font, as you can see right here. I also have the strings from the Mother 3 sound font. Did I fuck with this thing's picture? I'd have. I did, just a bit. 20 cents, sort of add that distortion effect. Bassoon strings as well. From the Megalovania lead you saw earlier, and then the Toho Breast. Let's see what we got. Pabs is shopping. <laughs> Dancing, walking, rearranging furniture. And then after that, along with everything there, we also have the funk guitar changing. I'm gonna call it the funk guitar now. This was really fun to write, by the way. I 
And then, you know, it just falls regularly, and then I also had the, the chord thing again at the top. Oh, I did this thing on my own, I just wanted to make it like go down. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's really cool. And then we just say like, everything else stays the same, honestly. So you know, we got the we got the chorus section, which is like shit. What is it? Like. It's just a repeat other than the ending bit. No sound, but we all so a little bit of a tom roll, the first tom roll from the beginning. And then we go to the, you know, the slow section. This follows the chord progression sort of from the... Uh, uh, this section, the chorus section, I guess. But, you know, we also have very simple this time. Just four notes. Again, I wrote these on my own, and I know I'm so good at music. Jam pick bass again. Is this all time? Oh my god, it is. Whatever, it's like barely noticeable. It's like that for everything. Oh my god, it's like that for all. It's, oh my god. Oh my god, I gotta kill myself. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. And then afterwards, we get to the build up again. There's also the shaker, the first or the shaker, which is like, like. And it goes back to the build up. We got the engine shades again. And then we have a lot of things unpacked in this section. We got the Piper again, the piano support, the piano life support. Following the chord, and then we have the arpeggio. No, this is the piano with the arpeggio. I thought it'd be cool to randomize the velocity a bit, but all the arpeggios stay the same. And then we have the chords again. Well, in this this time. Oh, there's also a little bit of counter melody in this piano, which is. You can hear that more, it gets a little bit more uh, intense, I guess, in this part. So just like... Shit, my bad. My bad. Oh, and then yeah, also the... The A sharp changes to an F sharp to sort of transition to a D sharp, which the next start section will start in. And oh boy, we got first of all the Toho trumpet solo. Uh, so solo this, solo this. We got. A little bit of a throwback to make a little idea. Yeah. And then we have the guitar yet again, you know, the good old funk guitar. This time it changes a uh, thumb pattern though. Just sort of give it that smooth flow, just like that, you know, continuous flow. And then we have whoo -hoo -hoo, the overdriven guitar solo I made. Uh, Did again. Megalovania sound along with Super Saw. I like the uh. 
That's a really good transition. And then drums! Ah, uh, <laughs> these drums are basically a ripoff of the drums from Scattered and Lost from Celeste, and... I think it's really cool. And all together, and then there's, uh, the... Yeah, shreddage. And all together, it, uh, it sounds like... It does. And then we also just have a little, um... The uh, one singular D short chord, yeah, it's like, no, with the OD slide here. And there's this part where it's basically the si it's basically this, uh, the first drop, it's like this, but with vocals. So obviously, I had to lower the uh, oh my god, that was out. I had to lower the make the instrumental to add these vocals. Now, you may be like, what the fuck? This is a very weird- oh shit, did I shift it? No, okay, no, I didn't shift it. Uh, redo. So, we got the- Again, I asked Danny to record vocals again. But this time, it's literally just the ba noise instead of on, on top with the Megalovania melody, so... It was a bit confusing to record because her voice didn't really go low. And, um... <laughs> She like she would go off time, so it was like a bit difficult to record. But we got it in the end. And it's the same thing until we got to here. Now these are also vocals. It's just light effects because she, I could not get the time. She, we, a lot of us, both of us, just couldn't get the time currently. So I just instead of I just ended up putting the vocals into slice sex. So we got. I know there's like white noise, but that just basically gets removed by the song because you just can't hear it when the song's playing. And so all together we have. And then all together, it would be a bit of like, uh, shit, let me. Also, this is just like me, uh, trying to get a little shorts recording, but I forgot to do it because I went on my trip. Uh, so we got. Yeah, it's basically that. And then we also have this thing kicking right here. This is just like... This is a build-up to this. Which is the final vocal of the song, which says... Yes, you can't hear virtual sanity. <laughs> I guess that Danny's voice, she struggles with making it go low. But uh, there's also a little fader here I made, which is basically just like, uh, sh I need to, I need to fucking solo the tempo automation every single time so it doesn't get fucked up. So it's like, can't see, can't hear virtual sanity. It works in the song, okay? And yeah, it's basically a repeat of the intro afterwards. Other than that, there, uh, uh, there is the uh, just like this singular thing playing. 
stop playing uh for just like you know, one, two, three, four. Okay, these little things are just like me doing a little uh, kick. You know. Just they like, got a bit of more practice session. And there's uh there's this thing first of all. Okay, guys, there it the snare is mixed differently by the way. I put it on like a different mixer on this one. As you can see, it's on the uh what is this? What is this? Is this drums? Don't crash. Wait, did I oh I yeah, I put it on the hi-hat mixer channel instead this time because it's just sounded uh like more soft. And then we just have Along with the uh, uh, the uh, this bit. One thing about this drum as well, if you go high enough, there's like there's like basically three drum beats. So uh, we got we just have Metalvania with the main chords. I want to see. And then there is the final chord progression. This perfectly fits Megalovania's final transition. And that's it. Yeah, that's basically an entire breakdown of my virtual insanity cover. Uh, I hope you enjoy. And. If you watch all the way through, thank you, and you should definitely tell other people to get memberships for more cool things like this. Anyway, though, I'm gonna be getting off. I hope you enjoyed the cover as well, and I will be seeing you later. Bye! Oh my god, my voice- That was a horrible voice, crap!